Here's some fun facts for you. In order for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to license a transportation container for spent nuclear fuel, it's got to go through the following sequential rigorous tests. To start off with, it's got to have a 30-foot drop onto a flat, unyielding surface onto its weakest point, point, and then no leaks. And then it's got to have a 40-inch free drop onto an 8-inch rod, again, at its weakest point with no leaks. Then it's got to be exposed for half an hour to a fire at least 1475 degrees Fahrenheit, no leaks. And then it's got to be submerged underwater of at least 15 feet depth for at least eight hours. Again, all of this in sequence with no leaks. And guess what? There hasn't been any leaks.